What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Storm Silver. This is episode number 34, I want to say. And in the last episode, we captured Lugia. Finally, it seems like that uh, was just looming on the horizon forever. Now, we're going to be taking our first steps into Kanto and, you know, seeing what we can do about Victory Road, heading out towards the Elite Four. It's going to be a whole big thing. Hopefully, our team is ready for that. Uh, I should probably just check the levels here. Everyone's at like 51 to 52. That should be sufficient. Uh, I'm not positive, obviously, but uh, we'll put Kirby out in the front because why not? So yeah, that's basically what we're doing today. We're not going to get through Victory Road, I don't think, just in one episode because there's some leading up to it, if I'm remembering correctly, because there's Tojo Falls and such. Um, what was I looking for? Max Repel. Max Repel. There we go. There we go. I probably am going to need to buy more of them sometime soon. But anyway, yeah, that's what uh, the plan is for this episode. Uh, so as always, as we're getting started here and as I'm just kind of surfing around, just a friendly little reminder if you guys haven't done so already and you would like to show some support to the channel, the series and all that fun stuff, it only takes a couple seconds to click that thumbs up button right below this video or leave your thoughts in the comment section below if you have any suggestions or you just want to share your thoughts comment section is a great place for that i know you guys uh, are some of you are really taking a liking to this series and uh, i think we're a little bit over halfway because i think the johto part actually takes longer than kanto because you kind of just run through the gym somewhat quickly in kanto but we still have a lot left to do, so that's pretty exciting. We've just taken our first steps into Kanto, and here we are at Tojo Falls, where we do need Waterfall. So I'm going to teach Waterfall to Carrasco. I know that might seem kind of silly because he's supposed to be a special attacker, but he does have a minus uh, special attack nature. So Waterfall actually might not be too bad on him. Let's see here. Yeah, his attack stat is actually way higher than his special attack, so Waterfall would be his most powerful move. Um, I guess we don't need Brine. That would be the move to get rid of here. Because Surf is still somewhat reliable, and we need it anyway. So Carrasco is a little bit of an HM slave. He's got Waterfall, Whirlpool, and um, and Surf. So that's that kind of stinks. Poor Carrasco. Somebody pointed out in uh, the last episode that Carrasco has very defined cheekbones. I thought that was hilarious. I don't know why I thought it was hilarious, but I did. I enjoyed it. Probably a little bit too much. What time did I start recording? I think it was like 2.55. I don't even know. This episode might be longer than normal. Uh, can I just... Oh, I can. I don't have to do the whole animation again. I can just go right through. That's pretty cool. I want to see what's over here, though. There has to be, like... There is an item over here. There it is. And it is a Moonstone to help us evolve things that we don't have. Let's see what's in here. This is where the radio was. No special event or anything. There is a radio that no longer works. Ah, well that is very suspicious. I'm sure we can come back here and do something later on. I know there was like the Celebi event that had something going on there, I believe. But we already fought Giovanni and he was part of that. So I'm kind of confused. Kind of confused as to how that would play out. Oh, okay, we're getting into a battle. Here we go. It's rare to see anyone come here. Are you training on your own? I guess you could say that, but I've got Kirby with me. And Megan is going to start off with Jumpluff, level 48. And I don't know how I feel about that leveling, because this is just some random trainer. It's the first trainer, really, essentially, of Victory Road. So I don't know what the Elite Four's levels are going to look like. I feel like it's higher than what I have. But let's go ahead and go for a Pluck. This Jump Up is actually faster than me. Hopefully, Pluck will just one-shot you. That would be the best case scenario right now. The Jump Up is pretty frail. There's no way you're taking this. No way you're taking this. Nope, down you go, and we don't even have to take the Leech Seed damage, so that is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And Kirby's gonna grow up to level 52 as well. Cool beans. All right, uh, Venusaur is next, and I think I just want to stick with Kirby on this one. I know I'm Leech Seeded, and I'm not positive that uh, this is going to kill, but it should definitely be a 2 at KO. Look how giant Venusaur looks. That sprite is huge, like compared to the Jump Love, at least. And never mind, Venusaur just goes down in one hit. I forgot how powerful Kirby is. I always underestimate her. Roserade, we can definitely one-shot that because... 
Venusaur is a lot bulkier than Roserade is, especially on the physical side. Roserade's physical defense is absolute poop. Uh, I think Roserade is a little bit faster than Venusaur, but we still outsped anyway. Apparently that uh, jump puff was just on steroids or something. And we're already like halfway to level 53. And Executor is next. Uh, let's see, do I want to stick with Kirby? No, probably not, because Executor actually does have decent physical defense. I think we'll bring out Roman for this one, because a Lava Plume should be enough to one-shot it. Uh, its special defense is kind of poop. Another level 48 Pokemon. They're all at level 48. Everybody's at level 48. That HP bar is dropping very slowly, but it's going to be a one-shot anyway. We just like to keep it interesting around here. That's just how we do it. And my voice just cracked a little bit there. Uh, all right, so that does it for Megan. You're really strong. Yeah. Yeah, oh, look, Mom's calling us. What are we, five steps away from being at home and she's already spending our money? You disgust me, Mother. All right, what do you have to say? Where are you off to with Pokemon? The Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. Ah, your Pokemon trusts you very much. It's nice to see a good trainer. Here, a gift for your journey. And she's going to give us TM37, which is Sandstorm. Yes, I just I just said that, old lady. It's a move that inflicts damage on both your and your foe's Pokemon. However, some Pokemon, such as Rock and Ground and Steel-type Pokemon, take no damage. There are other ways to avoid taking damage. I'll let you figure it out. Okay. Your Pokemon look tired. Here, let them rest. Okay, well, I just battled one trainer, but thanks, I guess. <laughs> I guess... Uh, Alright, let's uh, move on here, and is my Repel still active? I don't know. We're about to find out, though. We are about... Nope, it's not active. <laughs> Definitely not active. Buizel, that's cool. I really like Floatzel. In fact, I just bred one uh, competitively for X and Y, but I haven't actually used it yet. I don't know. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but... Uh, yeah, let's use the Max Repel before... I'm getting distracted by nothing. That's sad. This always happens, like, when this is the first video that I'm recording for the day, which this is. Um, I, it takes me a while to, like, warm up. I don't know. Like, warm up my voice, warm up my commentary. I don't know. I don't know. I could do, like, a practice thing, but that's just a colossal waste of time. So, yeah. Yeah! I don't know where I'm going with that. Ace Trainer Blake! He's gonna start off with Magnazone, level 49. And I don't really feel comfortable with leaving Carrasco out for this. I know, you know, electricity is not super effective or anything. Well, I don't really have anything to switch in. Roman doesn't want to take hits from this. Uh, I guess we'll try Waterfall since that is our most powerful attack now. Despite being not the highest base power, it comes off that much higher physical attack stat. So Waterfall it is. That did absolutely nothing. Are you kidding me? That did no damage whatsoever. Uh, let's see how much Surf does. He's going to go for the T-Bowl, and obviously he's faster now because of the T-Wave the and all that jazz. Please don't be a 2-hit KO. Uh, that is a 2-hit KO. That's a solid 2-hit KO. Wow, that did a ridiculous amount of damage. And, okay, Surf actually did a lot more. Is Magnazone's physical defense a lot higher than its special defense? Confused. I'm so confused. I guess we're going out into Blast here to take the incoming T-Bolt. This is where having a Ground-type Pokemon would come in handy, but oh well. Yeah, there's the T-Bolt. Thankfully, he didn't go for T-Wave because Electric-type Pokemon can actually be paralyzed in this gen, which I keep forgetting about. And uh, we can just... Well, Crunch is not very effective this gen as well, so I guess Spark would be our best move here. So let's go for it. And hope that it can take it out. I don't know that it will, though. Judging by how much Waterfall did, I'm going to be a little bit skeptical. Yep. And it does not take it out, and he does go for the T-Wave. Uh, at least we resist the stab. So I guess I did have a switch in. I don't know what I was talking about. I have a switch in, but I just can't do anything in return. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I will use a full heal. We have a ridiculous amount of them. I might as well use them. Because I do not want to be paralyzed. I don't know what else he has on his team. We may need Blast to get through this battle. Supersonic. I have no words. I have no words. Uh, do I have like a person berry or something? 
He's just gonna go for T-Wave, though. We have to try to attack. Uh, we'll just go for Crunch. Come on, Blast! Break through the confusion! There we go! First try! That is actually a bit surprising. Uh, now we definitely have to switch out because we are confused. And I know that Blast will start hitting himself if I allow that to happen, so... Yeah, he's actually gonna grow up to level 53 after defeating that Magnezone. That was a hefty amount of experience to split between two Pokemon. Uh, Lantern, we don't have any ground types. Uh, we don't have any grass types, so we really have nothing to hit this super effectively, which means uh, Lin is going to get a crack at it here. And we need to hope that Psychic is going to be a solid 2 hit KO, which it should be. Psychic 2 hit KOs almost everything that doesn't resist it, uh, just because Lin is ridiculously powerful. Go for that Psychic. I have to get rid of Flash. I can't believe I still have Flash. I don't think we need it for Victory Road. I would hope not. That is just barely a 2-hit KO, and actually it might not be a 2-hit KO if we get min damage the following turn. To see how that goes here. Thunderbolt, on the other hand, is not a 2-hit KO on Lin, so we're okay. Even if this, this doesn't kill, we'll be fine. And there we go. There's the Psychic, and it is a 2-hit KO. So down goes the Lantern, and Lin is going to get a little bit of HP back due to that hefty Shell Bell. I don't know why I said hefty. That makes no sense in that context. Um, I meant to say handy. And now we have an Alakazam coming out. I am not confident in just one-shotting with a Shadow Ball. Uh, let's see here. I guess Blast would be the way to go. Because Kirby can probably one-shot with a, a Pluck. But I would have to take a Psychic. And that's really going to hurt. At least Blast can't be hit by the Stab. So... I mean, it could have Focus Blast, I guess, and if it does, Blast will just get one-shotted because his Alakazam should outspeed. Level 49. Here we go. Crunch. Nope, he just has the Energy Ball. He probably had the Shadow Ball as well, and that's why I didn't want to leave Lin out there because I know we would outspeed it, but I don't know that Shadow Ball would KO an Alakazam. It has, like, base 90 special defense. It's actually not terrible. Its HP stat and its physical defense stat are what's absolutely atrocious. Not the special defense. It can actually take some hits on that side. All right, so that's going to do it for that battle, and we need to heal up a bit. Um, and actually, I'm not going to waste potions and stuff. We're just going to go back to the house, which is, like, right over here. I'd rather use repels than waste the potions. I don't know why, but I just would. I think we have to talk to you. Yep. There we go. All right, everybody is all ready to go. We can keep Carrasco out in the front still because I'm pretty sure he still needs some experience to catch up. Meanwhile, Blast is kind of pulling away from everybody at level 53. Did he just change sprites? Why is he white? Confused. I'm confused a lot in this game, ladies and gents. I'm sorry. I really am. All right, let's battle you. Not that we really had a choice. Hmm, you're good, aren't you? I don't know, I guess you're just gonna have to find out on your own. Brian, Ace Trainer Brian, who starts off with a Nine Tails, and that's actually perfect. And Nine Tails has a higher special defense stat, so Waterfall is the perfect move to go for, so that's what we're gonna do. And we actually outspeed this thing. It's a little surprising because Nine Tails is, you know, not the speediest thing in the world, but it's it's pretty fast. And I would love to see this thing just die in one hit. That's that's what I like to see. The nightmares from episode 9 or whatever episode that was when Lyra destroyed us with her own nine tails. It's coming back to me. And Carrasco's going to grow up to level 52, which is always good. And then we have this Miss Magius coming out. Another thing for Blast to do. I'm just noticing doesn't have an item right now, and I don't know why that is the case. Uh, Yeah, I guess we'll send out Blast. He's getting all of the work. Dark coverage is just really good late game, apparently. Go for the crunch. That should be a one shot as he tries to go for the Will O Wisp and misses, which is very fortunate for us because the crunch would not have KO'd, I don't think. Yeah, pretty sure that was not going to uh, KO with a burn. But anyway, the Miss Magius does go down here. We get some nice uh, experience there. Dust Wars coming out next. And I think I do want to switch. We, ha we gotta get some other people some experience as opposed to Blast just in every single, um, whatchamacallit. Yeah, that. Never mind. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. I'm gonna bring Roman out here because, unfortunately, he's only at level 51. And he's lagging behind a little bit. So, yeah. 
outcomes of Dust War. And the other thing is you cannot willow me, so that is always a good time. I can willow you, though. I don't know if I want to do that. I think I just want a Lava Plume. I know it takes away 2 PP every time, but that is a solid 2 at KO, and we get the burn anyway, so that was uh, definitely the right move to go for. And Dustmore has pulled out the EQ! Thankfully we got the burn, or that would have been very dangerous. Roman doesn't like taking EQs. Yeah, that would have been well over half without the burn. And uh, we can finish you off with a, another Lava Plume. So there we go. Dust Noir is going to bite the dust. And Roman might just grow up to level 52 or it's going to be pretty close. Yeah, 2,000 experience. Oh, just barely missed it. Weezing is next. And Weezing is always a very easy one-shot for Lin because Weezing is really not that fast and its special defense is just utter poop. So, yeah. The, Weezing, the Weezings in this game just really haven't given me too much of a problem just because Lin is that good. Lin is just that good. There are a lot of poison types in this game. You have to fight Weezings and Mucks a lot because, you know, Team Rocket is a thing. All right, so that does it for Brian. Just as I thought. Just as you thought what? Oh, yeah, at the beginning he said that he thought I was good or something. Something along those lines. Uh, I feel like there's like a hidden item like right on that slot. Nope. Nope, I'm just uh, making things up. Actually, we can get a TM over here if I'm not mistaken. We need Whirlpool? Yes, we do. All right. Go over here, and that way it'll take us straight across, because if you don't face it in the right direction, it just takes you straight. And you can end up hitting that rock, or just going up in the top portion of the screen where there's nothing. You do need to use another Max Repel. I'm definitely thinking I'm going to have to buy more after Victory Road. Uh, what do we have over here? Is this just a way to skip a large portion of all of these trainers, which I do not want to do? I think it is. Okay, there is no TM or item or anything. Um, all right, well, I didn't want to do that because I do want to battle all these trainers. We definitely need the experience heading into Victory Road. So that was just a complete waste of time, basically. Uh, there's nothing over here. I'm finding a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Let's see what this is. A Destiny Knot, and that evolves, uh, whatchamacallit, Dusclops into Dust Noir, which we just saw a few moments ago. Can I go over here to see what item is over here? I knew there was a hidden item. That was so suspicious. A revive. That uh, will probably get put to good use. There's a Psychic here, and he probably has Psychic and Ghost-type Pokemon. I don't think it matters, though. I think I'm... Uh... No, you know what? We'll put Lin out. We'll, we'll try to have you uh, Shadow Ball some things. Hopefully that doesn't backfire. Don't say a thing! Let me guess what you're thinking! Mmm, I got it! You're on the Pokemon League Challenge! Well, not yet, but we're trying to be. Trying to get to the Pokemon League. Psychic Eli has three Pokemon. Gallade is starting things off here. That is a little bit scary. Um... Just because it's a physical attacker. And I think I am gonna want to switch here. We'll switch into Kirby because at least I resist the fighting type stab. I know Lin does too, but he doesn't take physical attacks worth anything. Um, Psycho Cut. Okay, so he was going for the not very effective move there. And that should deal some nice damage. Okay, not really. That didn't do much at all. But I will go for a Pluck here that is super effective. And this Glade's only at level 47. I didn't realize that or it didn't register. I saw it, but it didn't register. It's kind of low. So down goes the Glade in one hit thanks to Kirby. Always putting in work. And we'll see what's next. Giraffarig, another psychic type Pokemon, but it's got the part normal type, so Shadow Ball is kind of out of the question. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I guess we'll send out Blast yet again. Blast is pulling away from the pack because of all these psychic type Pokemon we've been seeing and ghost types. They've been everywhere. Perhaps when we get into the victory road, we won't see. Uh, there's actually, no, this is Gen 2. There are no trainers in Victory Road. It's just your rival. Uh, Bennett. Uh, I'll just leave Blast out here. He's just killing everything. He's just too powerful. He's just too powerful. We may have to grind up the rest of our party just because Blast wants to hog the spotlight all the time. 
and just kill everything in one hit. I mean, he's got like a six level advantage on some of these Pokemon, but still. Almost up to level 54 now, as Psychic Eli is defeated, and we can move on. Should be another trainer over here somewhere. Who did I have out front? Lin? I guess we'll just leave Lin out for this. See? Chances are you probably have a Psychic type Pokemon, right? You came from New Bark Town? You must be exhausted! Well, it's not like it's that far away. Wow, she has a lot of Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Okay, and again, with the Psychic type Pokemon, Hypno starts things off. Unfortunately, uh, it takes special attacks fairly well, but Shadow Ball might still be a 2-hit KO, so we're going to give it a go here and hope that it's a 2-hit KO. I mean, this, again, only at level 47, and yeah, oh wow, that is a very solid 2-hit KO, definitely, except for the Disable coming out. Well, I can honestly say that was not really expected. Uh, I will go for a Psychic here and hope that's enough. I mean, we get the Stab Boost. I know it's not very effective, but it should be close. Nope, of course he lives with 1 HP and the Special D-Drop just to make things uh, even worse. <laughs> He's going to go for the Psychic, which doesn't really do that much. That was an interesting turn of events, that's for sure. Go for another Psychic here, and that should finish off the Hypno. Kind of surprising that it took us three hits. But, uh, I guess that's just what it is. And we do get a whopping 1 HP back from the Shell Bell, of course. Cannot beat that. And Butterfree's next. I will send out Roman for that, because, obviously, you know, Fire types beat Bug types. And with this thing only being level 47, I want to say that Roman should outspeed it. Okay, never mind. Oh, the Protect comes out. I forgot that any Pokemon in this game that has Protect will spam it, just for no reason. I guess it's used as like a scouting measure? I don't know. I don't know. It's not like they're getting Lefty's Recovery at full health, so I'm not sure why they do it. Uh, but anyway, we do outspeed the Butterfree, and Lava Plume does take it out in one hit. Roman is going to go up to level 52, which is some good progress there. And the Gastrodon is next, and I do have the cut on Roman, but um, unfortunately both of Gastrodon's stabs are super effective, so that's not really something I want to mess around with. I guess we can go into Alex for this one, because Alex should be able to take any hit that wants to uh, be thrown his way. It's the first time he's seeing screen time in this episode. I think everyone else on the team has been out except for Alex. Poor Alex, sitting in the background. Uh, we can go for an Ice Beam. And that should deal a nice chunk of damage. I would think that this would be a 2-hit KO. Wow, it's moving very slow. Okay, never mind. That's almost a 1. That has to be a crit. It is! Roman coming through for us again with yet another timely crit. And because of it, Alex gets to avoid any possible damage that he would have taken there. And we can send Roman back out because a fortress is coming our way here. And then we only have one Pokemon left to deal with. So everybody on this team at level 47... I feel like the levels have regressed since we started from New Bark Town. Like, they started... The first Pokemon we faced was level 48. Pretty sure. And we get another critical hit! I forgot, Roman has a 90% critical hit ratio. G Willikers. Okay, down goes the Fortress. Viaplume is next. And I think Kirby is probably our best bet here. I don't think that we can one-shot a Viaplume because it is just so ridiculously bulky. But... But, 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 it has a much higher special defense stat than physical defense. So we're going to take advantage of that and go for the physical pluck via the choice band that Kirby loves so much. And uh, that's moving kind of fast. And it's just a one shot. Is that a critical hit? No, it is not. So never mind. Just forget everything I just said about Viaplume not getting taken down in one hit. Kirby yet again gets underestimated. I don't know why I do that. She probably hates me for that. Not too shabby. You're doing something right if you can beat me, even by an unlikely fluke. Yeah, I beat you 6-0. No, I don't want to be your practice partner. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Uh, I'm assuming we have some more trainers up here as we're moving up to Route 26. Okay, we were on Route 27. We're heading on to Route 26 now. And we have a fisherman which means that Blast would probably put in a lot of work, but I would like to get some other Pokemon some, some work. Specifically, Lin, who's only at level 51 and is trailing the entire party at this point. So we're going to keep Lin out in the front, and hopefully uh, my opponent has a team full of Tentacruels and Quillfish. I feel like I could even beat the Pokemon League champion. I doubt that 
could be possible because you only have three Pokemon. Gyarados! Okay, we definitely need to switch. Because Lynn will get one shotted by a waterfall, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. No, you know what? Let's go for. Let's go for a reflect and then we'll psychic. And just hope we don't get critted. I know that's a lot to ask. Hydra Pump! Okay, special Gyarados. Never mind. Just forget everything I just said. That did no damage whatsoever. We'll go for a psychic. And I'm pretty sure that'll be a 2 KO. I know Gyarados is pretty bulky. But we're, it's Lin we're talking about here. That did a lot of damage. And we're going to get some Shell Bell Recovery. Which, that's pretty good, actually. And he goes for the Dragon Dance. So Dragon Dance Hydra Pump. New meta. And we do have the Reflect Up. So I'm not too afraid of physical attacks. I'm a little afraid. Just not too afraid. But we still outspeed. Even with this Gyarados at plus one. That is, that is rich. Lin, you speedy little girl, you. And we get some more Shell Bell Recovery. Of course, gets us up to 96. And we get a big chunk of experience there. Lin is going to grow up to level 52, which is great. Trying to learn Aura Sphere. Are you... What? You get that via level up now? Well, definitely I'm going to teach that to you. Um, we don't need Flash. I don't think. I would hope we don't need Flash. Or should I just get rid of Reflect? Because I don't have the TM for Flash. You have to be able to buy it at Goldenrod or something, though. So we'll go back and get it if we, ha if we really have to. Which would be disastrous, but... Uh, yeah. Aura Sphere, that's pretty awesome. I was not expecting that, that's for sure. And speak of the devil, didn't I just say right before this battle that I hope that he has a team full of Quillfish? Here we go, Quillfish. You're gonna get one-shotted by Psychic, and now we can take on... Uh, a lot of different Pokemon with R Sphere because that's great coverage alongside uh, Psychic Stab, specifically to take on Dark type Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. And we can now easily one shot things like Houndoom. So that's a lot of fun. And sh by Shell Bell alone, we're almost back up to full HP as Whale Lord is going to come out next. And we're not one shotting that in any universe, I don't think. Doesn't mean we can't try though. I mean, Wailord has a gigantic HP stat, but its defenses are like base 40 or something. It's it's absolutely terrible. And I'm talking on both sides, not just special or not just physical. It's like dual base 40, I think. Something terrible like that. And Psychic might actually be a one-shot. Never mind. And it's another critical hit! We have been incredibly lucky so far, and we're going to get back up to full HP after that. Yeah, because Wailord's HP stat is just ridiculously huge. Um, I don't know if we had any critical hit against us. And there's been four in our favor, I'm pretty sure. Three or four. G. Wilkers. Okay. Uh, another battler up here. We're actually running a little bit low on PP for Psychic for Lin, which that's not too bad. Um, yeah, we'll send Roman back out. He can crit his way through the next battle. Hello, just when you least expect it, I'm Cameron the Photographer. You look so photogenic. All right, you know what? We're going to have a picture taken today. I know I always ignore Cameron. I'm just always rude to him. But today, we're just going to have a nice little picture taken. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're just a happy little family, aren't we? Good, good. We've got a nice picture. You can see all the pictures on your PC. I'll be sure to take a look at that later on. We have to have at least one picture, right? Just all together. Level 45 wild Pokemon now. So I basically could just capture wild Pokemon here and take it to the Pokemon League. It's like almost, you know, similar as far as the levels are concerned. Most of the trainer's Pokemon are at level like 47, 48. Uh, Mom is calling us yet again. No surprise there. Another psychic battler here. Wow, look at all those badges. I'm impressed. But you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? I don't know. Mr. Vernon. Well, it's a good thing I, I left Roman out there because Metang leads things off here, level 48. We can very easily go for a nice little lava plume here, and that should be a one shot. Because it's not even fully evolved. Yep, down goes the Metang. And we'll get some nice experience for that as always. What's next? Claydol. Okay. Uh, I guess we will send out Carrasco for that. Alex could have been a decent choice as well. Not really afraid of Claydol. I mean, I know it has solid defensive stats, but its attacking stats on both sides are pretty lackluster, so I'm not worried. Uh, I'm not sure if your special defense or your defense is higher. 
I know they're around the same, so I'll just go for my most powerful move, which is now Waterfall. And we'll see how much that does, which it should do well over half. I would expect about 75%, possibly a one-shot. Okay, it's just a one-shot, and it's not even a critical hit. So down goes the clay doll. That was not really expected, but hey, I'll take it. Good job, Carrasco. Dust Clops is coming out next. And... Hmm. Hmm. We could go into lane and just Shadow Ball the crap out of it. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Because even a Shadow Ball coming off of Dust Clops with its pitiful uh, offensive stats, not really something I'm afraid of. We can always heal up afterwards. Level 48. Yeah, I'm pretty confident just going for Shadow Ball here. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll see how much that does. I I doubt this will be a one-shot. It's not Stab. Is that a critical hit? Wow, that's not even a critical hit. That did so much. And he pulls out the mean look to make sure that uh, we don't escape before we kill him. Now, he could go for Shadow Sneak here. That would be a good move. Nope. Maybe he doesn't have the Shadow Sneak. Maybe he was too scared to use it. I don't know. But either way, the Dust Clops is going down. And Lin is going to get a nice chunk of experience. I've been saying that exact same phrase a lot. Nice chunk of experience. I need to find something new to say. Uh, and we're actually just about running out of time here in this episode. I'm going to jump down here and see what's down here, if anything. Would I just go around in a big circle? I just went around in a big circle, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I just wasted everyone's time, basically. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did this lead to? An item, maybe? What is this? Okay, there's just a random nugget. I mean, we could use the money because Mom always spends our money. No, I don't want to surf. Not yet. Seeing if there's any other items here or something. Huh. All right, that was interesting. That was definitely interesting. We are running out of time in this episode, though, so I think I am going to end it off here as I attempt to get back to where we were before. Here's Route 27. All right, there we go. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next time, we're going to be heading into the actual Victory Road part. This was kind of just the lead up to it. And this is where all the trainers were, because once we get into Victory Road, unless things have changed in the hack, uh, the only trainer that we actually have to face is our arrival. And... Are there even any trainers up here? There are, and I think there's a place to heal up there, too. All right, so that's going to be it for this time. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I hope you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do. And I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.